Welcome back to Artec. Today we're going to review the Trunic 4K UHD Smart TV. So, uh, this is again uh, one of those Indian brands. It's called uh, Trunic, uh, as you can see from the box. Uh, it's a 4K Ultra uh, UHD TV, 4K resolution, Smart TV, Google Apps. Uh, it's got USB 2 and USB 3 ports, uh, 10 lakh is to 1 contrast ratio. Uh, it's got a slim panel, A grade panel, which can be knocked at and it'll not budge. So, good features. Uh, decently priced at about 35k Indian rupees. Uh, I'm just going to open the box for you in a moment. I just wanted to show you how it's packed. Uh, it's got the standard packaging as any other TV. What I wanted to highlight is the motion sensor keyboard remote which we'll see is included with this TV. It's the 42TP9001 model and uh, it's termed as smart. So let's find out what it's got. Over to the side, uh, it's got wall mounts which are provided uh, free of cost by the seller and uh, here are some of the features. Uh, it's also got some uh, key points mentioned there, Google Apps it says, but I think it's a third party Google store. So again, it's made in India, it's not made in China for good reasons. So let's go ahead and open this box. The packaging is on par with uh, any other TV brand. Uh, very well packed. It's got this nice metal stand for the TV. Wall mounts included as I told you. And when we see it's got really high density foam packaging which keeps it safe during transport. Right over the box you can see TV's got an ultra slim bezel as I mentioned outside on the box. So once I pulled out some of the accessory boxes I could see both two remotes included. I initially thought it's one remote which has everything but it's got a separate remote for the keyboard, the all-in-one keyboard uh, for Android and the standard remote as well. We'll go into the details of that. So. Um, Nice gesture. It's simple, it's just a white book. Uh, that's what you get these days with most of the TVs. Looks a little different from what is mentioned online, but uh, uh, I think it's just the color which is different but otherwise it's got pretty much everything uh, what any other TV has these days. So very simple looking remote but uh, looks functional. Here's the remote, uh, the all-in-one uh, you know keyboard. Uh, when I actually try to give you some more details I realize that you know this can be used with almost any TV but uh, there was a good gesture from Tronic to throw it in free. It works by using a dongle that you need to fix at the back of your television and uh, let me just pull this out for you yeah so it's well packed that's the Android keyboard so the Android logo you see in the middle is your pointer button once you point that once you hold that that's going to control your pointed pointing device on the TV it works like one of those magic mouse features on your expensive Samsung TV or LG TV so it's good to have that feature really helps and it has three battery slots at the back which you need to put in manually so coming back to the television itself um, at the back they've done some intelligent stuff um, Slim bezel again, I just want to focus on that. 
at the back as well on the side sorry and uh, there are the ports which I'll get close to in a second yeah so we have three HDMI ports at the back of the screen again they don't point towards the wall in case wall mounted so it's easy to manage them that's the IR blaster port uh, it's transparent it's a little weird but uh, it uh, is included there and uh, you have three USB ports on the side you have component in as well as audio in channels which go in the side you have the coaxial out on the side so all your standard ports which you need to be handy are access in uh, you know good accessible regions so no need to go below the TV so at the back you have these HDMI ports you have the LAN port as well as an extra additional USB port you also have the VGA port and the video out which you may not use and you don't see on many TVs but it's got the video out so good to see that uh, two down firing speakers uh, decently sized and uh, I uh, they haven't mentioned how many RMS these are but I think I'm guessing it's about five or six RMS each so they should sound okay but you'll still need good speakers to get some good output of this the power card is actually fixed it's not uh, something you can remove so just get it, just to give you the detail the TV consumes about 90 watts of power and uh, let's go ahead and fix the stand at the back of the TV So the stand's fixed and the TV is on the table. So although it's a slim bezel TV, you would see that it actually bulks up towards the back. That's the case for most of the TVs. The motherboard comes in the middle and uh, most of the, you know, okay. So it looks really elegant TV. I just want to show you the controls and the ports again from the sides. It looks pretty decent. It looks really premium. Uh, the Pinston bezel. Uh, the screen is reflective, but it's it's manageable. It's, uh, it's a grid panel. You can tap on it. Go and turn this thing on. So you get that big Trunic logo in the beginning and uh, it straight away starts on the TV mode so I'm just showing you the settings it has the picture settings it's got some settings on the pictures you can modify you know based on your preference you have the sound settings then you have tuning options menu options once you hit the home button on the remote it lands you in this page sort of a home page where you can see all the settings, your multimedia settings, TV, options, app store. So on the systems, I just want to take you through some of the settings. Uh, it has network settings. I'm just going to add the wireless option so that I can use the internet right away. Wi-Fi is now connected and I'm going to go into some of the other options from the TV. So I'm going to click on browser using the normal remote control here. Okay, so when I go to uh, applications installed, there's nothing installed at the moment on the TV so it's pretty much blank. So I, I just clicked on the Play Store just to show you. And this is one of the mobile one play stores which are used on most of the TVs including that of VU or VU as we call it and uh, you would see a similar, inter a similar interface on most of the TVs. It's a third party app store, has most of the apps but uh, it wouldn't let you install the you know official version of uh, YouTube because I think the Google Play service is not supported on this TV. So 
yeah, you can see a lot of apps options available. I mean, a lot of games, but nothing specifically different. Also wanted to give you an idea of uh, how much space there is. So let me just show you the settings once again. If I go to application manager, you would see that the total storage available is about 2.78 GB and we are using about 134 MB at the moment. So that's the space you have. Well, uh, this TV has also got, you know, other wireless options like you can connect your Ethernet. Uh, you also have Wi-Fi Direct, so it's DLNA compliant, so you can actually connect your phones or any other devices that support Wi-Fi Direct. It's also got the Wi-Fi hotspot option. So when I go to system updates, you have an option to update your system. I'm not going to check it now. So let's talk about the CPU itself. It's an AR ARM Cortex A9, 1.5 gigahertz. It's got a Mali 450 chip in it, made by Samsung. 4 GB of memory. Uh, it's got uh, some of the other options which I mentioned here, like it's an it's a UHD panel, so that's mentioned here. Uh, it does have uh, Wi-Fi BGN, which is good. Android 4.3. I just went ahead and connected the hard disk just to see whether it detects it, and it does. And um, so this is the interface. And when I select folder, it kind of throws up all the files. Let me just go ahead and play something really quick. To the movie, let's see how it plays. So this is a 720p file. Not the highest resolution this TV can support, but uh, I just want to see how the video player works. It, whether it forwards, yeah, it seems fine. I'm now playing something on 1080p. This is from the movie Elysium, so I'm just trying to see if it works fine. Yep, the forward works fine. It doesn't, media player seems fine. The clarity is good. Uh, I wish I had 4K content, but I don't. But we'll try something from YouTube as well. So, movies play great. There's no lag of any kind. I, as you know, some of the older TVs have this lag when you play 1080p, but this doesn't seem to have any problem with that. Plays it pretty easily, and the colors are awesome. I'm also changing the sound mode. There's not a big difference in the sound and the picture quality when I change the modes. But uh, yeah, some, I mean, maybe it's because of my lighting, but yeah. There you go, I'm changing the picture modes. It's a very light difference in each of the modes, right? So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and open a browser just to play YouTube. Uh, as I said, this TV doesn't support official Google Play Store, so I'll have to use it through the browser. And let me quickly open YouTube. And uh, right away, the content is actually specific to the location, so it's showing whatever local content is available, which is trending. and play something which is in 4k it's a sony video uh, you can see again because of the android version you are not able to play anything more than 720p so even though this video is 4k it will only play 720p so we will test something on 4k a little later great um, this is 720p but i mean I, I think this is what you would probably get uh, on YouTube at the moment let's get back to the exciting part so this is the dongle and the remote which I was talking about um, you gotta plug this back of your, at the back of your TV and this keyboard should start working right away and once you do that, you can see that the mouse mode is so amazing to use. So you 
kind of have that much of ease to actually navigate through the browser and some of the different uh, areas on the TV. Showing you how YouTube or the browsing experiences with uh, with this particular remote. So I'm going to go ahead and play something and you, you can see that um, the mouse mode works beautifully. I can just point it towards the TV and you know it makes it it makes life so much easier on an Android TV and uh, even scrolling up and down you can just use the page up page down function you can see the different videos it's also got the left and right click next to the pointer mode button I like that remote it's it's really making life easier For, for that matter, you know, the keyboard is actually uh, quite user friendly. You can just type in so easily rather than pressing a single single button three times to type one letter. You can just type it in. I'm just typing CNN.com just to show you how the browser works as well as show you the, you know, uh, sc scrolling options, how fast it loads. I'm using the page down function. Very nice. Works great when you have to scroll through your movie files from your hard disk. So no problems there again. Easy to click, easy to scroll. So let's go back and connect a. I've connected my laptop on this computer right now just to see if I can play 4K through the laptop. Okay, I'm going to search for the same Sony video, change the resolution to about 4K, and it plays beautifully. I can't explain how good the colors are on the TV, but it's. It's doing a decent job. There's a slight stutter because of the internet connection, but uh, the picture quality is great. There's a lot of detail in this screen, and uh, for the price you're paying, I would say this is a great TV. So that's that's about what I have to talk about the Trunic 4K UHD TV. I hope you guys liked this video. Please do hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, do leave, leave in your comments. Uh, we can definitely have more TVs reviewed from Trunic in the future. Thank you so much for watching.